Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video is going to be about um, some purchases that I made over the Christmas period that I haven't posted, I haven't done any videos of. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we're going to do today. So hello to all the people that are subscribed to my channel and are watching this video. And hi, nice to meet you, I'm Sarah, to all the people that have randomly come across this uh, video and yeah take a look at my other videos guys this is what i do daily it's um basically doing makeup different makeup looks finding cheap makeup for um cheap makeup finding good quality low cost makeup and also i do a clothes haul on a thursday so a plus size one um yeah that's it so without further ado let's get this video started There are a few things that I have bought, a few things, like a few things, that I've bought over the Christmas period. Um, can we just start with what I have in front of me here? I have stuff to my right as well, there's stuff everywhere, okay? Um, which is this. I have been after this highlighter for absolutely ages since it came out. Um, this is the Be Perfect Stacey Marie Get Wet. Um, highlighter in the shade Skin Sheen. Now this cost, I think, I, I don't know how much it usually costs, but it was on offer for £7.45 or something like that. So this is the highlighter. And guys, I have tested it already because I was like, as soon as I had it, I was like, I have to try that. Um, not on my face, but I have done a swatch. So you can see that, right? Um, let's do a little swatch test on my hand. So, first of all, let me show you what it's like on the finger. And that is the highlighter. That's how it comes out on the skin. It is amazing. It is my favourite highlighter I have now. I'm sorry, Beauty Bay, but that has got to be my favourite highlighter. Um, yeah, I just can't get over how how stunning it is. I mean, just it is literally like water. I can see why it's called Get Wet. Like, I am so excited to try this in a makeup look. I am really excited for that because I might be getting this in a few other shades as well, actually, if it's that cheap. Might be a good idea, maybe. So yes, I got that. And that is definitely good value for money. That stuff is stunning. Um, okay, moving on. Let's pop that back in its box. Okay. So, I did a little order with Morph. It was a low-cost order. I ordered some concealer and a makeup palette. Um, the concealer that I ordered was this. It's the Morph Fluidity Concealer in the shade 000. Um, it's white. You know I like my really light concealers because my skin is so light anyway. Um, so yeah, this is the colour. I have got another one on order, which is the shade up from this. And that is how it comes out on the skin. So I did actually test this the other day and like put it on my hand. I washed my hands about six times and it was still on the back of my hand. So it's good concealer. I am so excited to use this. There's like so much that I am excited to use in this new year. Um, it's still slightly damp, but it is a really good concealer. I just like patted it out a little bit. See if we can get it slightly. There you go. 
so that will definitely bring make your eyes nice and light okay so moving on to the palette that I bought from Morph which was down to ten pounds guys it was this it was the Morph Manny Newer Glam palette so let me just take this plastic thing off You have two highlighters and 12 different eyeshadows there and you have a lovely mirror which I absolutely love. You have to have a mirror on a palette. It just, you know, it's just so handy. Um, so yes, I am looking forward to using this palette. That shade looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm super excited to try it. Again, people think Morph makeup is really expensive. If you go and have a look in their sales um, section, you will find this there for £10. You'll find this there for £10. Um, there's loads there. And a lot of my Morph items that I've bought, apart from some of the eyeshadow palettes, are under £10. So, they are pretty good. And if you sign up to the newsletter also, um, they'll let you know then when there's a sale on and you just get, get first pick then before anybody else goes on oh, sorry guys I need a drink my rosacea is bad today oh got a spot coming there that's why anyway <clears throat> let's move on I did also order something from P. Louise Because there was an amazing sale on there as well and I'm so excited to try these things out and to open it so I'm pretty sure this cost 20 pound and for that you get a brush you get three different shades of P. Louis base um, cream and you can choose them yourself which is really good so the colors that I chose are this one this one which is the white one this one which is in the shade rumor 11 so I probably put that on if I wanted to put some like really bright eyeshadows on or something or even maybe to contour some stuff um, and this is in the shade Rumor 05, 0 0.5. So that, do you know, I, I wonder if that would make a good concealer because it is about the right shade for me. Have a look. Pop a bit out. It's quite thick. I didn't, it's, it's, it is very thick. Um, so creamy though. So, so creamy. Yeah, I think that would make a really good concealer. Can't really see much, but that is where it is. Circle there. That would make an amazing concealer. So, <clears throat> I have a few different options to use them there. So, I need to wipe my finger and I can't find the thing that I was using before. What did I do with it? Oh, got it. Honestly, I lose everything. It's, it's a habit. It just happens. Okay, let's move on to Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay had um, an offer on, I think it was after, it was either after Christmas or um, before Christmas, where they had a percentage off their own branded stuff so what I did is I bought their bronzer I, I already have the highlighter so I bought their bronzer I'm pretty sure it was four pounds something which is really good and I got it in the shade beach I think that was the lightest they had so 
I got that. Four pounds something is not bad at all. And their highlighter, if, if they're bronzers and blushes or anything like the highlighter, I'm gonna love them. So the highlighter I got again in the shade Flash because it's my favorite shade. But I am thinking that the Stacey Marie and um, the Perfect Highlighter is gonna kind of, mm, I'm gonna like it a bit more than the, um, what am I talking about? The Beauty Bay. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me lately. My memory is awful. So I also purchased this, which is a blusher. And I got this in the shade Blossom. Now this again was four pound something. And now this has got a little golden tint to it. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but it's very similar to the NARS Orgasm shade. It is very, very similar to the NARS one. I don't know if you can be able to. But it's so light, it's super super light and it catches the light as well which is really really nice. I do love the NARS Orgasm blush, it is amazing but it is quite expensive and this is pretty close to it and this is £4 something so I'm charged for that. And now you guys know how much I love my newer Pro Base concealers. Well, they were two, they're £2.50 on eBay. And um, I bought three of them just to keep myself stocked up. Um, so yeah, that was it from Beauty Bay. Um, I also bought this. I'm pretty sure I bought this from, um, I think it was uh, eBay. I don't know if it's meant to be a like, copy of something else. Beauty Creations. Um, but obviously I chose it because the colours. It does have some nice colours in there. I haven't actually tried any yet. I will have to do a video on swatching them. The annoying thing is though, I think there's about one, two, three, four of the same yellows there. I don't know if you can like. Um, but yeah, I'm just hoping that they're really pigmented. Let me just try one colour just to just to see. See if there's anything to uh look forward to. Okay. So, it is pretty pigmented. Sorry, pigmented. I don't say it properly. I don't know why I say pigment instead of pigment. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's not bad, I don't think. And I think that actually cost me like three or four pound. So, to be honest, if it is rubbish, I don't really care. It's just something to test and try for you guys and see if it's any good or not. Okay, moving on. What else did I get? Oh gosh, okay. So, I have found myself a new online store that is amazing. Cost uh, for the quality of stuff you have. And it's actually called the Beauty Outlet. Now they are online. I'm just getting my paperwork out because it's got the prices of everything on it. Um, I did put a rather big order in. I mean, it's three pages of stuff there. Um, I've also got another bag of stuff that I ordered from them. So let's have a little look at this. So the first thing I ordered was this. And this is the Stiller Aqua Glow Serum Concealer. And this was two pound. Two pound. 
Um, I didn't realise, well I kind of did, I knew it was dark, but I didn't realise just how dark it was. It is in the shade Deep. But I thought I could use it for um, contouring. Oh god. God, 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 god. That needs a shake. Sorry guys, it just came out and it's like really oily. Okay, now hopefully this will come out a little bit better. It's still oily. Come on, I need some cream. I don't want the liquid. Okay, that's better. Finally got some cream. Sorry guys, I'm just applying it to my hand. It's very oily. It hasn't been used for a while, but... That is so creamy though, it goes on lovely. Kind of smells like Play Doh. But yeah, like as you can tell, that is really dark for my skin. So I kind of, uh, I did know that it was dark, but I just didn't realize that it was uh, that dark. So yeah. But, like I said, I can use it for contouring or, you know, stuff like that. So it's not all that bad. But yes, that was £2. And it's by Stila. Is it Stila or Stila? I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, yes, that was £2. I think, I don't know how much it is normally, guys, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot more than that. Um, next item is the Scylla Aqua Glow Serum Foundation. Again, this is in the shade Deep. Um, and this cost me three pound. I don't know if it's meant to be runny. I think it just needs a good shake. I like this bottle. This is the bottle, and then you twist it down. And then you have a pipette. So that's what I put on there. It's very lightweight. That is a very lightweight foundation. Um, but yeah, I mean, Again, I can use it for contouring, contour, contouring, there you go, and it only costs £3, so, you know, I'm not at a loss really, am I, because I will use it for something. Okay, there's so much stuff in here. Um, next is this, which is the Stila Got Inked Cushion Eyeliner. And this is in the shade Black Obsidant, Ob Obsidant Ink? Obsidant Ink. Obsidant. So this cost me a pound. Eyeliner for a pound. I haven't opened any of these, so I don't know what it's like. Okay. Oh, cool. So it's like a cushion. It's like a cushion, so you put something on it, and let me see, let me get, gra grab something to see how this works. Just use that minging piece of, there you go. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing if I put that in there, it's just going to make it, yeah, it does. It's like an ink cushion. So that is pretty cool. I ne I've never used anything like that before, so that would be very interesting to use. Okay. Next to our next one, on to our next item, which is, and this is the last Stila item, and this is the Stila Lush Lips Water Plumping Primer. Um, this was a pound, the same as the eyeliner. And guys, the place that I got it from was the Beauty Outlet. They are like. I can't believe how cheap they are. So this is that. 
This is the Lush Lips Plumping Primer. So, I don't know, maybe it's got a lip plumper in it. Smells really nice. To be honest, it looks just like a gloss. Like, it's, it's very, um, it's there. It's very clear. So yeah, that is just the primer. Oh my gosh, it makes your skin feel so soft. Wow. I could see how that would work for a nice primer. That is really good actually. And I am looking forward to using this. At least I've got like two items of the Steeler stuff that I can use. Um, moving on to the next page of stuff. I'm so sorry if I'm boring you guys. I'm just letting you know what is out there and how cheap they are. They are so good. So I'm going to move on to this. It's probably something that's on the next page now. Yeah. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint Lipstick in the shade of Bye Felicia. <laughs> um, this was a pound. I love that Bye Felicia. Okay. So... This is a very different colour to what I'd ever wear on my lips. But I actually really like it. Oh, it smells nice. It smells so good. So I can't remember whether I said it, if it was a gloss or a... What did I say? Was it a gloss? Okay, lip paint this is. So... It is a bit of a crazy shade, but uh, I quite like that. I mean, it's something different, isn't it? Very different. I don't think I have a lipstick in that colour, so it's one to add to the collection. Um, I have so many lip glosses, lipsticks and stuff. I just, I've, my drawers that I bought are like completely full, so I have to buy another set, which is a pain but there we are it's my own fault for buying all these stuff okay next we're going to move on to this i have so many different models models own lipsticks now i have so many of these so so many um okay and all of these were a pound okay every single one of these lipsticks what's that apart from that i don't know what that is I'll leave the lipsticks to the last then because at least we know that they're all a pound. This is the model's own flawless under eye concealer. So it is like, it's got a brush. Okay. So we have got some concealer here. Uh, don't know what to think about that concealer, I'm not going to lie. It's very thick. Um, concealer. It'll probably look okay with. Yeah, it's quite thick. It is a matte finish concealer as well. You can't really see it, can you? It's like. <laughs> you can't see it. But, um, yeah, it's quite thick. I don't know. I'll have to try it with some foundation and uh, make my mind up then. Okay, so that concealer was pound okay now every single one of these was a pound what's this model zone brow gel this was also a pound and this is the model zone brow gel and that's in the shade does it even say blonde so it is this colour by the looks of it yeah and that was also a pound. I mean, I could try some of that now, couldn't I, really? I think he needs a brush through. This video is gonna be so long. There's so much more to go. 
Um, I just thought I'd just try it just to see if there's any good. At least I can stay there and then. Definitely thickens your eyebrows. I'm gonna say no, I don't really like it just because. I mean. Yeah, don't go buying that. Don't go buying that one. Um, I don't think that's uh, good. Let's get that off. I would laugh if it was like a permanent one. Actually, no, I wouldn't laugh. I think I'd cry. Okay, back to normal. Yay. Okay, so next I'm going to move on with our lip glosses. So we have this Model Zone lip gloss, which is in the shade Candy Cane, which is a beautiful red shade. So these other, they are lip, oh no, hang on, what is it? Is it a lip gloss? Some of them are glosses and some of them are, no, this, I think this is an actual um, colour. Lip, oh wow. That is so pretty. So that is in the shade Candy Cane, this, this was a pound. Okay, another model zone, lipstick, liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Deep Berry, which is also a pound. I like that. I like that. So yeah, that was also a pound. What else have we got here? This one, same again, model zone in the shade Coral Fresh. So that's that one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so we have this one, which is in the shade Pink Mint. Um, let's check this one out. Oh, that's pretty. It actually smells like mint. It actually smells like mint as well, which is weird, but cool, I guess. This one, which is in the shade Strawberry Mojito. Does that mean it's going to smell like that? Let's have a sniff. No, I think that still smells minty. I am loving that colour though. Wow. That will definitely, that is a stand. <laughs> that is a standout colour. I love that. Um, that is very pretty. Next. Okay. This is another one. These are all a pound. Eucalyptus pink. Pink. These all smell like mint. I'm a bit confused now. So, and this one, which is in the shade Raspberry Mojito. Like those colors are just so bright. Could you imagine? so so bright okay and this is Muir Lux um, this is the lip gloss this lip gloss glitz and this is a pound oh gosh come on I love the fact that this is the only sealed one so yeah 
let's try a little bit of this and I'm gonna put this next to all the others this is a gloss guys remember not a lipstick oh oh my gosh That smells absolutely amazing. And it is a very, very shimmery gloss. Let me put it up to the camera a bit closer. I don't know if you'd be able to see it. But there are bits of shimmer in it. Um, so that's it on my hand. And no word of a lie, this smells absolutely amazing. Wow. And that again was a pound. Right, moment of truth. Let me get a fresh, fresh wipe and try and wipe all of these lipsticks off, shall we? Let's see how good this lip stuff is. So the gloss obviously came off really easy because it was still wet and it is a gloss. So. Right, we're we ready. Let me just double check that they're all dry. Okay, and we'll start with the bottom then. So... Now it's starting to shift. So it. I mean, they are pretty good. I'm quite chuffed with that actually. No, not with the fact that it's stuck on my hand. <laughs> but I mean, at least you don't have to worry about keep going to the loo and topping your lipstick up that is that is the reason main reason that I won't wear lipstick because I can't be bothered to keep going in and fixing it I just and then like I'm, I'm I get a bit thing then a bit paranoid and I'm like oh my lips okay my lips okay and then, like it's just annoying for my friends then so it is not a fun Thing for me but if like these I will definitely wear because I know that they're gonna stay on I don't have to worry about the stuff coming out coming out coming off okay so that was the first bit I think I might actually put this into two halves this video so yes guys please go and check this website out they are amazing I'm so chuffed I found them I'm probably gonna do a little shop on there later to be honest so they are called beauty the beauty Al uh, albert the beauty outlet and for all of that makeup that i have just shown you there it cost me 18 pound for all of that stuff that was from the beauty outlet by the way not obviously not with the beauty based stuff and whatever everything in this all those lipsticks and the stiller stuff <clears throat> that cost 18 pound mm -hmm. sun's shining on my uh, chin peter griffin uh, um yeah so that was pretty good isn't it 18 pound for all that that's crazy hopefully i have the price list for my other thing so yeah guys, I, I just thought I'd let you know that there are really good sales going on at the moment with the P. Louise Morph, sorry, Morphe, Beauty Bay and the Beauty Outlet. Also, BH Cosmetics have a really good sale on as well. Um, definitely worth a look. And I think um, Beauty Bay have a 50% off thing going at the moment. So it is definitely worth having a look on their website. Um, yeah, that's about it. And Revolution, guys. I know I haven't got any Revolution items here, but I, like, they always have a sale on. Check them out. You'll be surprised, especially now that Christmas is over. You will have all the advent calendars on there for really low, low cost. All the gifts and stuff will be half price and stuff like that. Go and check them out. It is the Now is the good time to go, and if you want to treat yourself to a bit of makeup, go and do it now. Definitely. And also Debenhams, guys. I know they're closing down. Um, they have a up to 25% off their beauty and fragrance at the moment, I'm pretty sure. And that's including, I think, 50, up to 15% off of Lancome products, up to 15% off, off of Estee Lauder. I think it's up to 25% off of Elizabeth Arden, is it? Um, 
but yeah amazing guys go and check these things out have a look I know it's a bit rubbish because you can't go out and shop in the shops just go online guys honestly online shopping is the way forward um, but yeah I hope you all had a really good new year a really good Christmas and I am going to see you very very soon if you want to watch the next video it'll probably be on after this one <laughs> bye guys